Hola, Animigos, and welcome to Keyframers. I'm Stephen Shaw. And I'm David Korshid. Let's take a quick look at a technique from Flip Between States. First, let's talk about uh, the layering and toggling. So the kind of core of this animation is you've got two different states. You've got uh, this the shorter content, and you've got this uh, bigger content. So content small and content big. Uh, we're handling the actual like toggling between the two states uh, with JavaScript here. Uh, there's a click listener. When you click it, uh, it's eventually calling this toggle state uh, so that it's just setting a data attribute, uh, this data state, and toggling it from big and small. Uh, but the actual like content uh, bit where you know the the content is is changing is happening um, in the CSS. Uh, so a technique that we use quite quite a bit when we have different states that we need to move between in like in one container is this grid layering, um, and this is uh, a technique using display grid, and then all of the children inside of it are grid area one one. That that just means everything is is overlapping each other. Um, so if we take off uh, opacity zero, um, you can actually see both both states existing uh, simultaneously. Um, uh, they're, they're just on top of each other. Uh, but for this particular animation, we want, uh, we want to transition the size in between the two. So whenever we're, um, whenever a, con a piece of content is inactive, we have it set to position absolute. Um, and that's, that's basically taking it out of the flow. So it doesn't take up any space inside this, this container that you can kind of see with the, the background there. Um, and then whenever a particular state is activated, we just switch that back over to position relative so that this is now the one that's taking up, uh, taking up space in the layout uh, and, um, and it's just fading in and out with this opacity zero and opacity one and the transition uh, that's set up there. Um, so that's essentially all that it takes to toggle between two states. We have some more advanced stuff happening regarding like the sizing and everything like that. But if you had just a simple accordion where you wanted to just toggle toggle some content open, like this is a perfectly uh, great way to do that um, with just a few lines of JavaScript and a few lines of, of CSS. Yeah. So you can watch the full process of creating this animation with a deeper dive into each technique on the full live stream links below. And if you have any questions, you know, please leave us a comment and we'll be happy to answer. Yes. Our show is supported by our sponsors, CodePen at CodePen.io, CSS Tricks at CSS-Tricks.com, and viewers like you. You can pledge at Patreon.com slash Keyframers and uh, subscribe to our channel for more great content. Uh, we do have some links available below for all of that happening. Until next time, adios, amigos. Adios. Thank mm -hmm. you.